This story is called Quail, and it comes from Numbers 11. The memory verse is Philippians 4, 11, which says, I have learned to be content whatever my circumstances. There's a lot of times that kids complain. They complain because there's crust on the bread, or they complain because there's too much peanut butter, or there's not enough peanut butter, or they really, really wanted spaghetti for supper and instead we're having potatoes. Kids complain, but adults do too. They complain it's too hot, they complain it's too cold, they complain there's not enough rain, or they complain that there is too much rain. And in this story, God's people were complaining, and God heard them complaining, and he was angry. And the fire from the Lord broke out around the outside of the camp, and there was a fire around the whole outside, and people were getting burned because of the fire. And, and the people cried, and Moses prayed, and then the fire bur came down, and God called that place Tabara, which meant the fire broke out. There were some people who were traveling with Moses and his people who were just grouchy. They just were not happy about anything that was happening in their lives. And they said, oh, we wish we had cucumbers. Do you know when we lived in Egypt, we could have any kind of meat we wanted all the time. We could always have meat. And the fish, there was such good fish fish whenever we were in that when we were in Egypt and we had melons oh I would just die for a piece of melon right now or an onion or garlic on my sandwich oh I wish I wish I wish we were still back in Egypt and they complained and they grumbled and Moses was sick of it he said God I'm tired of these people. Why did you pick me to be the leader? The burden of carrying these complaining, grumbling people is just too much. I can't handle it. They are not my kids. And God said, um, I'll give them meat. What? I'll give them meat. God, how could you give them meat? There's 600,000 men, plus women, plus children. And if we killed all of our animals that we have, we wouldn't have enough meat. If we went to the sea and caught all the fish we could, we wouldn't have enough. There are too many people for you to give them meat. God said, I'll give them meat. And I'll take care of the big burden on your shoulder too. You call 70 elders and we will put some of the Holy Spirit on them so they can help you carry the burden. So he brought in the 70 men. And God put the Holy Spirit on them, and they were able to help Moses lead the people. Then God said, tomorrow you're going to eat meat. Get yourselves ready, because tomorrow you're going to eat meat. People probably laughed. Why in the world? How in the world could we eat meat? This is so crazy. Um, God said, is my arm too short to save? Do I have just a little short arm that I can't help the people? And the next day, there was meat. There were quails. A wind drove quails up on the land. And the quails were this deep, just deep, two cubits deep. This is a cubit from here to here. So two of these deep was the cube where were the quail and they were all around the camp, encampment and if you started at your tent and you walked a whole day there'd be quail on the ground every place you walked no matter if you walked this way or this way or this way or this way there were quail on the ground and they were deep and the people gathered them in and everybody had lots of them and God said that they would eat them for a whole month. Well, those grumblers and those complainers, when they got that quail meat into their mouths, they got sick on the stomach. Oh, and it made them sick. And they said, why did we complain so much? Now we have sore bellies because we didn't eat the manna. We ate the quail. Now, Paul is who said the memory verse, and he said, I am content. 
I'm not a grumbler. I'm not a complainer. I'm not trying to figure out my own life. I have learned to be content, whatever the circumstances. So if I'm shipwrecked, that's okay. If I'm hungry, that's okay. If I'm thirsty, that's okay. God is going to take care of me. Dear Father God, you do take care of your people. You are very good to us. Very, very good to us. Help us, O oh Lord, to catch ourselves when we find ourselves complaining and grumbling about the stuff that you have given us. Oh, I wish that our car had air conditioning. Or, oh, I wish that we had snow today. It's so hot. Help us, O oh Lord, not to be grumblers and complainers, but to be content, letting you be our God. In Jesus' name, amen.